from Miami Beach, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Acronis Global Cyber Summit 2019. Brought to you by Acronis. Hello everyone, welcome back with theCUBE's coverage here for two days at the Cronus Global Cyber Summit 2019. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're at Miami Beach at the Fontainebleau Hotel and I am here with the CEO and chairman of Acronis, SB, Sergey, known as SB. Yes, Thanks for joining yes, me. Yes, that's fine, that's fine. So, your inaugural event of the Global Cyber Summit, what's your, what's your feeling so far? Do you like it? It's very good. We have uh, exceeded the expectations in terms of attendees. We have high quality audience. Everything is organized uh, quite well. It's our first event of a kind. It's a first event which uh, marks a transformation of the company from being a data protection company to being a cyber protection company, from being an application company to being a platform company. Talk and about so the vision and where, how you got here because again, the market's changing. Cloud computing, Internet of Things, more threats than ever before. Data seems to be at the center of all this. Right, we What's don't think about um, the IT in terms of data. We look at IT in terms of workloads. And so workload could be data, could be application, could be system. We also look at IT not from the standpoint of large customer, small customer, but from the standpoint of endpoint, like your computer right here on the table, uh, or a mobile device. Uh, from the standpoint of core IT, which is a large data center of a large enterprise, or it is a cloud, like Amazon, like Google, like Microsoft, and from the standpoint of something in the middle, which we call Edge, and it's growing very rapidly. That's a small data center, that's a remote office, that's a small office, that's also specialized locations like factory, like hospital, like um, railway station, like restaurant, like any retail location, where you actually have specialized computers, effectively servers, running the infrastructure. For example, every Starbucks location uh, is actually uh, 12 computers. And those computers, the edge and endpoint, need protection, need complete protection. Yep. And our vision is to provide a complete protection from the standpoint of safety, accessibility, privacy, authenticity, and security. That's something which we call Acronis SAPAS. You know, I, I, I think your division's right on, in fact, when you think about data protection, my observation is it was because of disruption in operations somehow. An event happened, um, hurricane, flood. The operations were disrupted so they got to roll back and get the snapshots and bring it back. But security is now causing a disruption. I think you guys are honing in on the, the, the disruptions coming from a security vector. And yeah, so we, 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 that, the that, traditional that, mechanisms have to change a little bit. That seems to be your success here with the no, no, I, I think we look at this holistically. We don't see really a difference. So safety, accessibility, privacy, authenticity, and security, all of these vectors are a problem. You know, perhaps authenticity is uh, not yet visible as much, and privacy is new. So privacy is not the bad guys. You know, it's a good guys. It's a good guys. It's uh, uh, maybe your other employee, or maybe your partner, uh, or maybe maybe it's a uh, your customer who want who do, you don't want to see the information about somebody else. And so all of this is a threat. And you really don't want your infrastructure to bring damage to your business or to yourself. Uh, unintentional damage. If you want to break something, you better break it based on your decision and you better be able to roll, roll back. And so, you know, it comes from data protection, but it goes to security and privacy and authenticity. All of this together is important for the fact that your IT infrastructure is functional and at all times are controlled by you. In your opinion, has ransomware provided a wake up call to IT around this area? Because that seems to be a theme a lot with ransomware, where people realize that they're stuck and it's, it's, it highlights yeah, a problem. I, I think ransomware is an interesting trend. I wouldn't uh, really be happy about ransomware. Ransomware is a bad thing. So we help people to be protected against ransomware, but that doesn't mean we like ransomware. Yeah, no right? one likes I mean, ransomware. So, but yeah. <laughs> Extortion's uh, not really well liked uh, yeah, when you're the not, one being extorted. <laughs> it's not really a nice thing, uh, but um, it's one of the wake up calls. In reality, again, it comes from all the direction. I think ransomware is just very, very, uh, easy to understand. Yeah, and people can see it and they understand it. Explain, uh, you mentioned SAPAS. SAPAS. 
What is that, explain that, that acronym, what does it mean, what's the vision behind so it? So SAPAS is a safety, accessibility, privacy, authenticity, and security combined in a single product. That's what it means. It means that you no, don't lose anything, everything is accessible at all times, but uh, the right people have access and you can control the access. Nothing is modified in such ways that you don't know it was modified and no bad yeah. guys can uh, break into your IT or into your data or into your application. You mentioned the platform. Platforms are a well-known concept in computer science and certainly the internet. You've seen great successes with plat platforms that enable something. How would you describe the enablement that comes from the Cronus platform, cyber platform? Uh, I think uh, it, it comes back to what you started with. There is a lot of new trends, and part of this new trends is the world for a while, maybe 20 years ago, looked like the world which is consolidated. And you have one vendor which provides solution to vast majority of problems, which was Microsoft, right? So if you remember 1999, it looked like pretty much everybody's going to use Windows, Mac is not going to be there. Uh, Microsoft was making uh, some inroads in mobile <coughs> with uh, Windows CE yeah. and, and so on and so forth. Well, now the world is deconsolidating. You have tons of different types of workloads. You have different systems. You have different uh, uh, applications. You have different cloud applications. Uh, you need to protect them in a very different way. That's another thing. You need to integrate with a lot of applications. We cannot do it all. And yeah. so we opened our applications and our platform for third parties for the event like this to actually build on top of the platform to provide the functionality which we don't have. You said the word system a few times and I think this is an interesting platform validation. Systems thinking is like an operating system. It's a lot of consequences in systems. The old system, it seems that systems thinking is back in, in the front lines of IT and technology because you got a cloud, you got on-premises, you got IoT, you got networks, it's a system. And so, holistically thinking about it is interesting. Do you think people are getting there? Or do you think that's the right thing to do? Think like a system. We are simple people in Acronis. We look at the world and we don't see anything but uh, uh, data, <laughs> bits and bytes, zeros and ones. We don't look at everywhere and we don't see anything but workloads. And these workloads, they could be in the cloud, they could be on premise, they could be at a partner location, they could be on your mobile device, it could be the whole device or part of it. And we also uh, see the world in terms of partners. And from our point of view, um, you know, it's, it's whether people realize it or not, people have IT, it needs to work, and there are yeah. partners to help them. So if IT doesn't work, they cannot do anything. They cannot call their friends, they cannot communicate <laughs> with their relatives. <laughs> so yeah, it has so to it's work. impossible, it has <laughs> to work. And so what we provide is a protection to make sure that it works at all time, no matter what is a possible challenge. SB, thank you for taking the time to answer some questions. I want to get one final question to you. The news today, opening APIs up, creating a developer network and a portal, new, new things. What's your message to the folks that want to developing on your platform? What's the guiding principles? What's the, what's the, well, uh, the simple value proposition of why I'm a developer, I would want to work so, on uh, Acronis' global platform? So, uh, I, we might look relatively small. We are only 1.5 thousand people and we're only several hundred million dollars in revenue. We're growing very rapidly. Uh, we have uh, 6,000 partners who can sell your products, and, and this number is growing very rapidly. We'll have 30,000 in several years. Uh, and, and so you have uh, also a lot of data under management, five exabytes of data under our management, and uh, this amount of data is growing very rapidly. And so if you build applications for protection of this data, this number of workloads, this number of partners to sell it, you can sell your product successfully. Ultimately, for developers, it's about uh, doing something which makes money and doing something which makes sense. And with our partner network, with our workload and data reach, they get to make sense and they get to make money. And it's a hot area, cyber protection, kind of a new category emerging out of the old data protection. If you had to describe to someone the old way versus the new way, data protection the old way, cyber protection the new way, what's the difference between the two? Well, the difference is that it, it includes security, privacy management, and authenticity management into one package. The difference is that it's designed to work in the world which is inherently insecure. It's designed to work in the world 
where if you connect to network, you don't trust this network. And so if you have a cyber protection application or cyber protection hardware, it has to be protected itself. That's me, thank you for coming on theCUBE and taking the time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome, thank Appreciate you Appreciate it. It's theCUBE coverage here in Miami Beach across Global Cyber Summit 2019. I'm John Furrier, thanks for watching. Two days of coverage here, be right back.